Well, it is Small Business Week, and there is a new wave of entrepreneurs, immigrants. In fact, they launched nearly a third of all new businesses in the U.S. last year. And as Kate Rogers reports, that trend is playing out big time in the big city of Chicago. In Little Village, Chicago, Eduardo Rodriguez is offering the community a taste of his home. 90 percent of the uh, things that we, uh, that we are selling in our stores are imported from Mexico. The Mexican immigrant launched his business, Dulcelandia, in 1995, selling Mexican imported candies like Carlos Quinto and Pulparindo. In the past two decades, he's built a mini empire with four locations. Yeah, I am grateful that I had that, this opportunity to do this in the United States. It takes a lot of work and it takes a lot of sacrifice, but after all, when you go to the final balance, that's the reason that you came over anyway from wherever you come from. As the debate over immigration policy continues on nationwide, immigrants like Rodriguez are having a major impact on entrepreneurship. Data from the Kauffman Foundation show immigrants launched nearly one third of all new businesses in 2016 and were nearly twice as likely to start a business than native born Americans. Illinois' immigrant population mirrors that trend, making up about a quarter of the state's overall entrepreneurs, according to separate data from the New American Economy. And what's more, there are about 110,000 immigrant-owned businesses right here in the Chicago metro. Immigrants have that a, a unique work ethic. They know America is special. They know what they left behind. This is a unique country, unique city, and uh, it gives them a chance of opportunity. Ayano Biru has capitalized on that opportunity since fleeing his native Ethiopia with his mother and brothers in 1986. Now a U.S. citizen, he recently launched his second business, Taste of Tef, which sells products made with the gluten-free grain. It's very rare that you're able to kind of go to a new place and people kind of accept you and are willing to support you. Biru's message for immigrant entrepreneurs, don't focus on things you can't control. Don't necessarily think about it in terms of, you know, how things may be different because you're, you're an immigrant at the end of the day. You know, we're talking about business and, you know, business is all about making sure that you have, you know, a product or service that people actually want. For Nightly Business Report, Kate Rogers, Chicago.